Hey, what's up? It's Leah from Fourth Wall, and today we're gonna go over how to get your shop set up. It's honestly super easy, so let's just jump right into it. After you go to fourthwall.com and create your account, you'll be taking our dashboard here. This checklist is super handy. You have three options when it comes to selling. You can sell something you have and handle the fulfillment and shipping yourself. You can also send the products to us and we can help you fulfill. You can sell digital products like an online course, digital prints, music, or whatever your heart desires. Or you can design something new and browse our product catalog. As you can see, we have a lot of products to choose from in our catalog. We have normal merch products like t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and cups. We also have high quality custom knit sweaters and heavyweight hoodies. And we even have the option to customize plushies, posters, books, Books. Basically, whatever you want to sell, you can make. But I'm going to stick with my tried and true, a nice comfort color 1717. Now from here, we can choose if we want it to be printed or embroidered. I'm going to go with the classic print and we'll design now. Then you'll be taken to our product designer. So from here, we can upload the image that we want to use. So I'm going to drop in this design. Honestly, I really like how it looks off the bat, but you can also decide if you want this to be a left chest print or if you'd like it to be on your center chest. Personally, I like that full size print. So we're gonna go with that. Now, if you wanna pick different colors for your shirt, all you gotta do is hit this colors tab right here and there's a bunch of different colors to choose from. I'm personally a big fan of the violet. So I'm gonna add that and I'm not really a huge fan of the lagoon blue. So I'm just gonna click on it again and it'll get rid of it. Now I wanna see what this looks like before I'm ready to move ahead. So I'm just gonna hit preview and our system will generate some high quality mock-ups for you. So I can see what it looks like. I think it looks really cute. And then I can also see another shot of what it'll look like too. Once you hit next, we'll be taking the product details page. From here, you can decide what you want the name of your product to be. If you have something in mind, that's totally fine. But you can also click here to have it write a title or description for you if you'd like. So I just clicked that button. It created a nice description for me. I really like this. It knows what the garment is. So it generated some great text about the quality of the garment. I'm not really vibing with the name. So I'm just gonna change this and make it a make your mark tee. The recommended selling price for this shirt is $25, but you can also change that. So if you wanted it to be 30, you'll see right here your profit. It'll update as you update the selling price. So you always know how much you're going to make. All right. I'm good with a $30 tee. Let's go next. On the next screen, you'll actually be offered complimentary products that you can also just automatically put this design on. So there's another t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and a hat. I think the sweatshirt's actually a great addition. So I'm just going to check that off and go next. It's just going to prompt me to do the exact same thing for this sweatshirt. So I'm going to go do that real quick. And I'm just gonna hit publish now. Now my items are published and ready to be shown on my site. Now that the products are taken care of, it's time to customize our site. So let's go to the next step. Now you'll be taken here to pick a theme. Don't worry if you're not totally vibing with any of these at first because they're really customizable and you can make them look basically completely different. So I'm just gonna choose one that I like the bones of. My personal favorite is digital throwback. I use this theme all of the time. We can preview it really quickly if you wanna see what it looks like on the example shop. And I'm just gonna click start with this theme. And now our theme is here and ready to go. If for some reason you ever wanna pick a different theme, you can just click theme here and you can load a different one. All right, now we've got some customizing to do and you can literally change almost everything on here. You can upload your own logo to replace that text at the top. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Perfect, now my logo is there. From here, we can also change the colors. You know, this is a very dark theme. I'm really into bright colors. I love me a good pink. So we're just gonna rebrand this a little bit. I'm gonna make my background a nice pink. You can copy and paste hex codes if you have some branding in mind already. I'm gonna go with like a brighter pink for this background. Ooh, I love that pink, it's so nice. I'm not a huge fan of this yellow. So I'm actually gonna go with a nice cyan. This is looking cute, very me. As you can see, there's so much more that we can customize here. I wanna just customize the layout by adding spacing in between the products. I just really like how it looks. I think I'm all good with the colors and appearance, so let's go back. Now we can customize our fonts. So I'm gonna go with Fredoka one. It's personally one of my favorites, but you can browse our library of over a thousand fonts and pick which one that works for you. I'm really liking how that looks. I want it to be bold, so I'm gonna choose the bold option. Oh, cute. I just love this font. I feel like it's so cutesy and cool. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the base font, but you could pick a different font for this if you'd like. There's so much you can do here, like setting up tracking, adding all of your social links, adding different pages to your site and even choosing a different theme like we mentioned before. But right now I'm gonna move on to layout. Now it's super easy to edit your website. You can click to this layout tab over here or you can even decide to edit the things you already have by just doing this. 
I don't want this section anymore, so I'm just gonna delete it. Now we have our featured collection, but there's other sections that we can add to. So there's so many you can add. I totally recommend going down this list and taking a look. My personal favorites are links list that you can use as a link in bio. You can add an image banner with buttons on it. You can add some more text. You can add your memberships here. I really like adding my YouTube feed, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now we can see all our YouTube videos there. I think this is a great way to add your socials to your shop. You can do YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and it's just so nice to have everything in one place. But honestly, like I said, there's so much that you can add here. So I really recommend just taking the time to mess around and see what you like the most. Once you're done setting up your site, you can go to the top right corner where it says coming soon and you can click on that to set it live, to schedule it to go live or to allow early access with a password. I'm just gonna set it live right away. Now that your site's done, let's go back to the dashboard and take a look at some features. Your dashboard is essentially gonna be your best friend. Here you can see all of your orders and you can go here to view or edit all of your products. Over on the promotion section, you can create custom promo codes for your supporters. For example, free shipping for orders over $100. Heading on over to the memberships tab, this is where you can set up your memberships, which I highly recommend. Hosting memberships through fourth wall comes with a lot of perks. We have so many cool features like built-in donations, paid DMs, and pay-per-view messages. There's even an upsell feature, so you can offer merch buyers a free month of memberships. This way you can convert what would be one-time buyers into recurring revenue. You can upload video content directly on your memberships feed and you can get your own fully custom branded mobile app for free. We also have so many apps and integrations you can connect to your shop. Here you can set up your YouTube merch shelf, TikTok shop, Twitch gifting, and so much more. Now, if we hop over to our settings, you can add team members to your site, view your payouts, order samples, and if you have a custom domain, you can easily set that up here. Again, this is a super quick overview, but I highly recommend taking the time to go through each thing and really make sure your site feels 100% true to you and your brand. There's so much customization that you can do, so feel free to get creative with it. This is just a super basic setup for getting your site up and running, but if you wanna read into more features or get into a more detailed setup process, I'll link some resources down below for you. But for now, I'm gonna send you over to our friends at Stream Elements to show you how you can set up custom purchase alerts for free. Thank you, fourth wall friends. Hi, I'm Andre from Stream Elements, and I'm here to walk you through how to get alerts on Stream that will trigger when someone purchases something from your fourth wall merch store. Setting up a fun and engaging merch alert is important to shout out and recognize your community on Stream when they support you with a merch purchase. To get started, first visit the Elements Gallery at widgets.streamelements.com. Once you're in the Elements Gallery, you have a lot of alert boxes to choose from. So let's pick this one to customize, which can be easily done by clicking on Customize, and then you're taken to the Elements Editor. Here, you can click on the Merch Purchase Alert on your left menu, and then click on the Any Variant. Then, go over to the right side menu, and you can customize the individual elements like the text, or the visuals. If you're good with this merch purchase alert, the next step is to add it to your OBS Studio, which is super simple. Just click Save, and then Publish. And just follow the instructions on screen on how to add the alert URL to OBS. If you're not familiar with how to do this, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step later in the video. But how about starting one from scratch? To do so, in the Elements Gallery, look for the Build Your Own Alert box. Click Customize, and we're once again in the Elements Editor. First thing we're going to do is add the Merch Purchased Alert. So go to the left side menu and click Add State. Select Merch Purchased, and click on the Any Variant. Now, going to the right side menu, we're going to customize the text first. Click on the Text Element and customize it to your liking. One very important tool to use is our data points. By typing slash, you'll be shown variables that you can use to build your text. In our example here, I'm going to use Latest Merch Buyer and latest merch items. So our alert will automatically use the name of the viewer who purchased and what they purchased. You can then choose to use this title element or remove it. We're going to remove it for this one. And now we can change how the alert looks. Click on the main asset element and click on replace asset. Here in our media browser, you can choose from one of our pre-made alert graphics or just upload your own. I'm using my own GIF for this one. Now, let's adjust the size and position. Once we're done, the last touch is going to be what sound plays when the alert is triggered. Click on the sound element and then select sound. Just like before, we're in our media browser, but this time for audio files. You have a selection of free to use sounds from our library or you can upload your own. Select what sound you want and press save. 
and our alert is complete. Now the only thing left to do is to bring it into OBS. Click on save and then publish. In this screen, click to copy the URL and remember these dimensions. Once you're in OBS, simply add a new browser source. Paste the URL into the URL field and those dimensions that we got earlier. And we're done. Your custom merch purchase alert is ready to be used. Thanks so much, Andre. And thanks to you for watching. Let us know if you have any questions about getting set up over on Fourth Wall. We want to make this process as easy as possible for you. Once again, welcome to the Fourth Wall fam. We're so excited to have you.